Hey, what's up? Um, I wrote a post about this, but I'm also going to go ahead and make a video because I think it's a pretty important topic. So this is about how to take advice. That's the name of the title. And I don't really know if that's the most fitting title. It's basically how do we deal with advice we get from other people, right? Because we have advice coming from all different angles, even when we don't want it. We have it from our parents, friends, grandparents, media, um, you name it, everywhere. But there are times we do want it when we have to make a pretty important decision in our life. We want advice, and that's good, right? We want advice from other people. We read blogs. We watch YouTube videos. I, I do these. I still do this. I watch uh, Strength Camp, Elliot Hulse. I'll read um, Zen Habits every once in a while. Um, yeah, so we all take advice, especially when we're about to make a big decision. Now, it's a volatile situation taking advice because it depends on how you handle it. And this is what I'm trying to explain through um, this topic. How do we handle advice? If you take advice at face value and, okay, so let's say you admire somebody, right? You're going to take advice normally from somebody you admire, right? So you go up to them and you ask them, tell them your problem and say, what's your advice? And if you just take their advice as fact and follow it directly as they say, right, without thinking about it, that's going to cause two problems. One, if shit gets fucked up, you're going to blame the person you took advice from, right? What the hell, man? You gave me advice, I took it, and it was wrong. So it's going to cause problems between you and that individual that you have admired. But that is far less of a problem than you're going to have because you didn't think for yourself. You didn't develop, you didn't develop at all. You just took another person's way of thinking and just went ahead with it. One, it could be contrary to the way you think, so it's going to fuck up you mentally. Second of all, you didn't even think for yourself. You're not developing as a person doing that, right? So, you got to think of this. I mean, so, normally we think one-dimensionally, right? Especially when we have problems. We're faced with a decision to make. We think the way we think. Think of that as a one-dimensional way of thinking, okay? And so we take advice, and the way to handle advice is to broaden your perspective of thinking, to make it more than one-dimensional, right? So instead of taking that person's advice directly and doing exactly what they advised, if you take that and just consider it and add it to your plane of thought, you automatically go from one-dimensional thinking to two-dimensional thinking. If you get a third person, you're at three-dimensional thinking. Now, this is an analogy, okay? So basically, the more advice you consider not take directly, the more advice you consider, the broader your perspective is, the broader your horizons are, the broader the possibilities are for you to make a, the best decision possible, right? Because at the end of the day, you have to think for yourself, guys, that is the main goal I have, is to help you realize your potential and to think for yourself critically, okay? Advice is a great way to help you make decisions, a great way to help it's not a great way to make decisions for you. It's a bad way. So basically, the way to handle advice is consider it. Pool all together a bunch of advice. Not too much, because it can cloud how you really think, all right? I'd say, God, man, four or five different perspectives max, right? If you get too many, you get lost in the shuffle, right? So a healthy amount, not too many. You'll get a feel for how much that is. The minute you start to feel overwhelmed, stop, okay? And consider these ideas. Consider this advice, because that's what it is, advice. At the end of the day, you have to think for yourself. You have to make your decision, right? Because it's you, right? That's pretty simple. But yeah, guys, I mean, I love that you're liking my videos. I love that you're reading my blog posts. I absolutely am ecstatic about that, but... I want you guys to realize that this is advice from one individual to another to help you realize for yourself what you want. 
That's all I'm trying to do. Help you realize what you want. Help. So just consider my advice. Please never take it as the absolute truth, okay? Alright. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.